Oh, how very exciting, isn't it? That said Domino Chinese, and accidentally, I am actually from Domino Chinese as well. My name is Felix, I'm the founder, hopefully you've seen me before. But today, I'm not Felix the founder, today I'm Felix the weather guy, because we've been able to equip our studio with a green screen. Um, and on it, we can put anything we'd like. So in this case, I'd like to put on uh, Windows 10, a basically a tutorial, but together with me, the weather guy, so you can get a full body tutorial as well. Much more exciting, isn't it? Okay, so we'll show you how to set up Chinese, so that you can type in Chinese on a Windows 10. Uh, Hit it. Wonderful. We actually hit it already. Okay, so you press there, press there. It's pretty self-explanatory. I just think it's fun to be in, uh, in shot all the time, now that you can see <clears throat> the full length of my legs as well. Okay, so you press there, you press there. Now what's important is that, uh, hold on a second, language region, well done. Um, now you want, to you want to select Chinese and then simplified. If you press traditional, we won't really have application for that in our program. Um, some of it you'll understand, but some of it you won't and you'll be frustrated. So Chinese simplified. And worth noticing, guys, is that um, you don't want to actually do what we did there. Um, you want to make sure that your Windows language for the whole computer and for the whole system is set up still on English, uh, just like so. So you want to make sure these settings are all as such. Otherwise, it might not be very good for you. If that is what happens to you, then uh, don't worry, we have the answer for you. You go back to this menu, now it'll all be in Chinese, but don't worry, just follow our lead. Um, you make sure you press this one here, uh, press that one there, and these should all be um, be selected. Um, so that one says Yingo as in England, and this one says uh, Swedish, or what does it, I can't really see. But anyways, select those things, and here in the bottom is the only place where you're supposed to, where you're supposed to see Chinese. And in that case, you're good to go. Fantastic. Wonderful. Now that that is set up, now we have to apologise because um, the bottom, this, actually this end of the screen is not recorded. This end of the screen you'll see as soon as you select more than one language, so two or three then, in this case it's actually Swedish, English and Chinese selected on this, or set up on this computer, then you actually have to select, there we go, until it'll pop up, you'll select one of those languages, and then uh, you'll go for Chinese in this case. And then you need Pinyin to be able to write anything. And if you don't know what Pinyin is already, you should go to our course. I actually have a little banner for you here. Very exciting indeed. It says Domino Chinese. Excellent. Okay, so go there if you don't know what Pinyin is already. If you do, you're fantastic. If you don't, you're still fantastic. And then you start writing like that. If you want to go back to English, just switch back to that little thing, toggle back to English, and you are good to go. You can actually also hit Caps Lock if you want to just disable it while you're still on Chinese. You can try that out and see how it goes. That is it from, uh, from, <clears throat> from here. I'll see you later then. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. Cheers, cheers for watching.